topic over here is communism, violence, and media. Starting with it, I would first of all like to quote the Wikipedia definition of communism. Communism is used in South Asia to denote attempts to construct religious or ethnic identity inside strife between people identified as different communities and to stimulate communal violence between those groups. It derives from history, differences in belief, and tensions between the communities. In the, follow in the, following, in the following presentation, I'll be dealing with the two topics, uh, with the two issues. First issue would be, is media playing an important role in increasing communalism in India? And the second would be, does stopping communalism will stop violence in India? Now, the first issue. Is media playing an important role in increasing communalism in India? Yes, of course we know that media is something which uh, connects us all. Uh, like many people who have said before me that uh, media is something which connects people from Kashmir to Kanyakumari. Many people have said that and it is very true. What we, come, what we know, they know. And media does not only include the televised media, it includes the internet, it includes the print and media, newspaper, television, all the things which connects one person from another through electronic or through paper. That comes under the media. Now I would like to tell one thing that the media rarely gives false information. I agree that, I agree that, I agree that media adds a lot of sensation, a lot of spice into the news. It adds, it adds a lot of spice, but it never gives, it never gives a false information. Why does media do it? Uh, the very first reason why media do is that to increase its TRP when it comes to news channels, to increase its sales when it comes to newspaper, and to increase its uh, website views when it comes to the internet. Uh, media does it so that more and more people visit it. And the reason behind it is that we as humans, we as viewers, we as humans, we as viewers uh, like only those news which are uh, which are what should I say? Which are spiced up. Uh, we, if I would, if I would, if I would come here, give a, if I would come here, give a 10-minute long speech without any interesting material. None of you and none of even if I would be at your place, I would not be listening. But if I would, but if I would add something of interest into it, you will listen. And if I would be there, I will listen. And the other reasons behind is the communalism. It is a political hypocrisy. Uh, media. Uh, we, they, it is a known fact that many of the media channels take money from some political parties to badmouth about other political parties. They they focus on the they focus on the other political parties' bad things and they publicize it on a national level. What does media do? Uh, what media does is that it brings religion into the picture. It showed it 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 uh, it shows news it shows news on the basis of the religion. How does it do it? It, it, it connects you with it. Uh, like now I would like to show you an example of the news article. In this news article you will see that uh, there was a violent attacks in the ex-religious place. Ex being any religion which you want to take. Take it Hinduism, take it Muslims, take it Christianity, take it Sikhism. In this, in this religion, in this religion uh, it, uh, the newspaper will quote that uh, the why religion had the main, the why, the why religion had the main role in the attack. Uh, and they, and, they, and they will show a lot of and they will show a lot of uh, the differences between the X and Y religion. Uh, now here we, I would like to quote that there is a fair amount of chance that the people of X religion will come and join the fight, even if they were not affected by it, even if they don't agree with the fight which had happened, and even and, and even if they don't know the whole story, because because the because their religion people had been affected by it, uh, not because not, not not because they were affected, but because their religion were affected. On one hand, if we see this is good, they are united, they are they are having a brotherhood, they are having a fraternity, they are connected. But on the other hand, if we see it is bad because they don't know the whole story. Maybe maybe there are chances that the people, maybe there are chances that their own religion people were bad, but they won't go against them. Why? Because it is brotherhood. And my second issue would be the stopping communalism will stop violence in India. Uh, of course, the basic answer to it is no. Violence is something which is set in the mindset of the people, not in the way show it. Violence is an act done by a man to physically harm his enemy or the other group where they face a conflict of thoughts or where they want to show their supremacy by showing the other that they are more powerful. Violence is not controlled can be the most important element for destroying our humanity and moreover our whole species. It is said that it is said, it is widely said that the earth is soon coming to an end. Uh, there, 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 there have been earthquakes at various places. There have been landslides. There have been floods. Uh, it is said that uh, soon the earth will get over. But uh, what we should know is that before it will get over by a natural disaster, it will get over by the violence between us own. How does violence affect us? Uh, violence affects us by dividing us into groups. So violence divides us into two groups: uh, winners and losers. Fun thing is that the position keeps on interchanging. If a person is winner, if a per, if a person has won a communal, if a person has won a communal fight, that does not mean that he will stay low down and he will not reply. 
his group will his group will again get formed and a week later a month later a year later there would be another bomb attack by that party to the another party uh, the most common example is the fight between the new york uh, between, between the english between the american people for the world trade center and the attack and the attacks in the iran people uh, when they when when the when the when the world trade center when the world trade center was broken when the twin when the twin towers were broken down in september 2001 uh, america, america took back its revenge america took back its revenge by destroying uh, by destroying by, de by by destroying many villages in the area of iraq and iran and what do and what did they did they they came back they attacked they attacked the game and this is something which will keep on happening if one day one is loser then another day another party will be is violence important there are two schools of thoughts right? Uh, they, they were, one school of thought says that yes, violence is important. This was supported by none other than uh, none other than the most real man of modern history, Adolf Hitler. He said that he said that he said he said that yes, violence is important. He had he had seen some part of his life which had which had, which had made him believe in that yes, violence is important. Another another school of thought is that no, violence can be avoided. It was said by the it was said by the it was it, it was said by the second it was said by the leader of the second largest population in the world. Yes, you guessed it right, India. Mahatma Gandhi, Mahatma Gandhi protested against the violence and British rule in India. Now, to conclude, I would like to quote one thing. Charity begins at home. A lot of people said before me that if you want, if that if we want to change the thing, we have to we have to start from own self. The the quote charity begins at home means that if we want to start something, we have to start with our own self. And uh, there we should know that there is one God, only one God. We have all we have we, we have all we have all just perceived him from our different views. Like there's a difference between the optimistic view and the pessimistic view. Uh, if if, they, if there's a, if there's a half glass of water, a, an, an optimistic person will say it is half filled, and pessimistic person will say it is half empty. Same way, say same way. God is one. Uh, different people have different people have perceived him in the different way. There's only one God. We Hindus call him Lord Rama. Muslims call him Allah. Christians call him Jesus Christ. Sikh calls him Guru Nanak. Buddhists call him him Gautam Buddha. But he is only one. And this is the image which makes us an Indian. Hinduism, Jainism, Buddhism, Sikhism, Islam, Christianity. Thank you.